while we still got me on screen. I'm going to go ahead and do my weekly three-card reading for the collective. Um, I use my John Holland Oracle deck, and this three-card pool seems to be showing us that we're all having some really strong gut feelings right now. Um, maybe we're not sure where to turn or how to act, or the universe is just doing some crazy things, and our authority figures don't seem to like it. Um, it might seem like a lot of the people you look up to or were trained to look up to, they, they look down on you and they're acting like you're doing something wrong, but really it's fine. Do, but if you feel as if your stomach is twisted in knots, it's because your solar plexus is going through some major transformations with the rest of the collective. So don't worry, you're obviously not alone. Try to remember that we're all in the midst of Mercury retrograde, and though it's not something to use as an excuse for everything, it will cause some miscommunications and upset stomachs. Um, the collective is also going through some major changes as always, but just know that big breakthroughs and things are coming, and it isn't looking like we're going to slow down anytime soon. So take a deep breath, focus on your solar plexus for a moment, know that it's related to the sound of ROM, and it's also a fire elementary energy. Thank you for the sound effects. Um, but it is a fire elemental energy, so maybe soothe yourself with a bath and some candles or something in a fiery sense. Put that fire back into your life. And the mantra for this affirmation, it, or affirmation is also, um, I can. That's what the solar plexus really focuses on, is that you can and you shall. So move forward as you gain strength in your own personal power and become your own authority. The universe card is telling you that you just need to do that. And when it appears, it's also to remind us that we've come so far on our journey and we need to remember that the possibilities are endless. It also shows us as a collective that we are accomplishing goals and reaching the stars. And in ancient times, many believed that a star was the soul of one person. And they also said that these souls shine so brightly to guide others through the darkness. And I recently reread a favorite quote of mine that I really want to share with you all, and it's, let your light shine so bright before all men so that they may see how you light the good in the world. And also another one that's my favorite is, enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. And I have been blessed and honored to share this reading with you, as always, and I'm excited to hear what everyone else has to say. So thank you. <laughs>